Hey! What's up? Come hang out with me. Grab a drink. Welcome back to Brews with Beck, or welcome to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you today? Uh, I am, uh, I'm glorious. Got my nice patio, still, still chilling. Uh, we'll be back, uh, to Studio City very soon, but still in, uh, Henderson, Nevada, or at least at the time of this video. So, um, how the hell are you? Let's get to this beer review. Uh, I got this from uh, Lee's down the way. Saw it. They were they're actually clearing it out because it's actually a very aged beer at this point. Uh, this one is from Avery Brewing out of Boulder, Colorado, which is a subsidiary I saw, which I, I knew they'd been bought of uh, Group Grupo uh, Majo San Miguel uh, out of uh, Madrid, Spain. So. There you go. Uh, did not know that right off the bat, but, you know, Avery's still bolder to me, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, this one has been aged for five years. September, it says right on there, September of 2017. In uh, So Sour Age blended from an extensive selection of Cabernet Sauvignon, Sauvignon barrels provided by Larkmead and Chateau uh Montalena Vineyards. Uh, so there you go. But literally in the bottle for five years. Bucks busting out right now. We'll see how it is. Uh, this one is 8.2 on the Richter. Basically a double, but, you know, just a, kind of an imperial sour. It's been barrel aged. Uh, doesn't say, don't think it actually said how long it's been, how long it, they aged it in the, uh, in the barrel. So I'm going to assume at least maybe nine months. Anyway. Yeah, that's neither here nor there, but it'd be nice to know. So, um, it's spot on. Oh, Barrel Age Series 47. Amasitia is what it's called. Um, part of Avery's Constant Barrel Age Series. That they've got, uh, you know, Tweak and some other stuff. At least I believe that's all in the Barrel Age Series, uh, the ones I've had before. So, uh, anyway, hopefully you are having an amazing day. Uh, let's get this poured. Let's see what this is uh, going to be gonna taste like and look like, shall we? Let's do it. Ooh, looking like a nice barley wine. Uh, do me that favor, and please, on that note, crush, crush that like button. Please, thank you. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, help me out, good goddammit. Please subscribe. Really appreciate you. And we can sit down with all these crazy different type of beers anytime you want. All right, all right, all right. Sounds like a deal? All right. Good talk. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Okay. Um... So, yeah, looks like a very dark uh, barley wine, at least in my uh, estimation, or as, uh, or maybe even a uh, a quad, excuse me, um, a, you know, a uh, Belgian dark. But uh, yeah, looks uh, looks caramelish like. But I know I know this is not because it's gonna you know it's gonna bring out that sour. So no, don't really know what to expect. So all right, anyway. No words or emotions. Let's get this on a smell. Ooh, it has like a sour cherry note to it. Yeah, sour cherry. That's kind of what I get. Almost like that kombucha uh, pucker uh, sour you can already smell right off the sniff. Yeah, just like li li little uh, little vinegar going. So hopefully it's good. Anyway, no words or emotions. Let's roll. Nice. Really nice, uh, not too puckerish like in the sour. Um, still get kind of a sour uh, cherry in the taste. I mean, obviously, like a little bit like sour citrus too. Um, might get the faintest of like a, like a, very subtle caramel. Oh wow! Yeah, this this is a nice. I mean, people that hate sours, you're not gonna like it, but it's coming off nice. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of this, just trying to get that sour off the top of your mouth. Um, yeah, there you go. Saw a little bit of uh, the remnants of the bottom right there. There you go. See if you can still get it. I literally got these. They're selling these out. They're just trying to get them off their inventory. I think they used to, used to go for like $12.99 a bottle. 
literally uh, selling, so I bought two bottles of them for a dollar ninety nine each, and I, I was like, well, what the hell? If they're bad, then I didn't spend that much, but pretty, pretty good, pretty good so far. So uh, give me a second. I'm gonna sip it down, see if there's anything else I can say about this. But so far, very n nice uh, sour cherry with just a slight edge of like caramel. Um, and yeah, let me let me see if I get anything else. You hold tight, one sec. Hey, what's that neighbor? You have a Goldschlager and Michelob Ultra on, uh, on ice? Maybe I'll catch you next year, okay? All right, good talk. All right, yeah, turn down Goldschlager and Michelob Ultra. Um, anyhow, uh, this, this is, uh, you know, again, I don't have a beer like this that often. I don't, you know, I'm always game for a sour, but don't always get sours. Just, I don't know, just need, you know, every once in a while I need to bury it up, so... And who would like to send me more sours, please be my guest. Any any breweries, any friends, love to try more sours. Uh, I just tend to, you know, stick to what, you know, my uh, my my go tos, and I try to extend myself. Of course, um, try anything on here, you know, even if it's even if it's a hell no. But no, this is really good. Um, I mean, I, I really, it's got it's mostly sour cherry to go with like a little lemon lime little base of like subtle caramel and you know i don't make like just like a i guess like a bready or like a ever so slightly bready malt um but mostly the sour but it's nice it's it really is nice it's a, I, I i would like to have this more often if i didn't know what this was i it'd be tough to say but i think that's about i, I might actually would have guessed about eight percent this could range from anything from like six percent to probably nine percent but my guess probably would have been about eight seven or eight percent i probably would have thought more eight just saying um mouthfeel is it's not heavy but it's definitely far from a lager um maybe like a 35 out of 100 like leaning towards medium mouthfeel but uh yeah i really like it so if you like that kind of whole puckering uh sour cherry um kombucha type feel with just a little bit of like kind of backbone of like a subtle caramel malt um i think this might might be for you and i'm gonna shock you because i think go, going into the rating time right now you know i i need this every once in a while and i really appreciate this beer so let's get to the rating shall we especially because again i had no expectations on this getting the beer for how you know the discount i did so from stellar down to hell no i'm actually going to give this and what's right below Stellar? This one is a solid. I literally, I, I do wrong. It's not like like amazing, but like it, I I would give this a ninety four. It just got like a really nice, refreshing thing doing it with a little, you know, that really nice uh, puckering sour. It's not too too rough and has enough backbone of the body to, you know, really enjoy it. So, yeah, that's that's an A sour. So I'm glad I got it. Uh, I'm glad I picked up two. Uh, that's about it. Hopefully you can find these. I don't know if, if leave in the comments if you've had it before. What's thought of it? Then again, Amasisha means friendship. By the way, there you go. And speaking of friendship, remember to like and subscribe. Be my friend. There you go. Love you. Uh, We'll see you on the next beer review. Love having you guys. We'll see you out there. Peace to your family.